we're gonna review this baby right now. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Truth Guitar Method. My name is Joel. You can call me Joel, son of Caesar. And yes, my dad's name really is Caesar. In today's video, we kick off the Donner Review and Pedal Board Giveaway. The Donner Pedal Board Review and Giveaway? The giveaway of the Donner Pedals and Pedal Board. Today we start <laughs> Uh, the first video of the major giveaway that's gonna happen when we hit 1,000 subscribers. So, if you're interested in buying a new pedal board but don't really wanna pay too, too much money, Donner is the company to go with, man. But, uh, is the pedal board any good? All right, so let's go ahead and open it up. I've already opened it uh, from the first day I got it just to make sure everything was there. Uh, but that review comes now. All right, so this is a Donner DBS 200 Guitar Effects pedal board. Uh, you can find this at www.donnerdeal.com or you can go to Amazon. All right, let's take this puppy out. in the world. Okay. <laughs> Joel's not strong enough. I see what the problem is. There we go. Alrighty. Let's put that there. And uh, there's there's the bag. It comes in this plastic. Me personally, I'm not too happy with the color, but uh, it's really nice. I mean, I just personally like like a like a black color. I just that's what I prefer. Um, it's got two pouches in the front. Nothing in here, and I don't know, man. You can use it for pretty much anything. Nice stitching here, Donner. Um, Let's look at the back. On the back, we've got another pouch, and this is super cool. Um, it's got backpack straps. And uh, you hinge them here, right? And you can carry it as a backpack. This is awesome. Uh, I'm used to playing at, at my church, for example, and I'll grab my um, guitar. It's usually in a hard case, and then I have my Gator um, pedal board, which has a side strap, and it's okay, but I'm kind of walking like this the whole time. This is cool because you can put it on your back and then just worry about the um, guitar. Of course, don't forget to zip it up, right? Um, it also said... Anything else in here? Nothing else in here. All right, so it's got those things. Alrighty, uh, I'm gonna leave them like this for just for now. It's got a nice handle here. Okay, let me see here. Got a nice handle, very suitcase-like. And now we open it up. Let's see here. So I did notice we weren't getting enough light, and this is really dark. It's a dark blue with black. Um, so I went ahead and turned on the lights a little bit more so you guys could see a little better. So we've got here another two pouches, and on the inside you have these uh, straps, which I have never used. Um, I usually like to tie my pedal patch cables um, within themselves. And then you get three pairs, or three patch cables, and you also get the Velcro 
Okay, you get the Velcro and a side strap. So there's links on this right here. So, so that you can, if you prefer the side strap, you can go ahead and do that. Okay, so side strap, Velcro, um, what did I say these were? Uh, the, the, um, the, uh, like the little zip clip ties. These are, these are different and they've got some kind of sticky, I don't know what that is. And then three patch cables, which is obviously not going to be enough. And a nice little thank you note from Donner, which is pretty cool. Now, overall, I feel like the bag is made very well. Like it feels like, like a good little suitcase, man. Like, I don't know if you were gigging, it'd be perfect. So, pretty good. Uh, and then you've got the actual holding area for the pedal. And so here we go. I do like this. I have the Gator, uh, the Gator one, and I don't recall if it has this. I could easily just take it out right now. It's in my closet. But um, <clears throat> this is a bonus because it kind of like, even if you were to leave this thing open, right, and you put it on as a backpack, and if, as long as you remember to secure this, there's a good chance your pedal board will not come out and fall. All right, so I'm gonna lift it for the first time. Let's see what it's like. All righty, here we go. Okay, I feel the, the cold touch of metal. It is very light. I'm gonna put this on the side. It is really, really light. Not sure how I feel about that. Um, all right, so let's take a look here. It's got the sides are screwed in. These are made of plastic. Okay, you can hear that. Plastic, and I hear this thing is a pick holder. Okay, this thing is a pick holder, I guess for when you're playing or whatever, you can store your picks in there. Um, I don't know if that comes out, but you can put your picks there. And then we've got um, four rubber mats on the bottom. So I guess for the grip. And then the underside, it feels like aluminum. I can easily just check if that's what it's made of, but it feels really light, very light metal. And it comes with a strap on the bottom. If you're wondering why in the world is there a strap on the bottom, this strap is for your power supply. Power supply goes here, which gives you more real estate up here for more pedals. Um, I sometimes like putting the power supply on top just because it looks really, really nice with all the lights and stuff. And if it's dark, if you're playing on a dark stage, the little lights do help. So, but you do have that option of putting it on the bottom. Um, I have not decided what I'm gonna do with this one since we're reviewing it slowly and technically I'm not using this pedal board anytime soon. Um, it does feel really, really light. I do feel like, like I can push down and nothing's gonna happen. And the uh, cool part is it already comes all Velcroed out, man. So you're only going to need one half of the Velcro. Now, I read in a review, somebody was reviewing this thing and they said that once they started adding the Velcro with the pedals, that once they started adding it, when they would go to remove it to like move, you know, to I guess inch the pedal over a little bit or something like that, that the bottom portion was starting to come off. So here's the deal. For me, it's not a deal breaker because if it, if it got damaged, I mean, you can, you can just pull it all off. If you're gonna use um, Velcro anyway, you're not gonna see it or anything like that. So um, I don't know how I feel about that. We're, we're gonna find out when we start adding stuff to it, whether or not, you know, it comes off. But it does feel nice, very smooth, very nice. And then we have these uh, holes here to run your patch cables through the bottom. Um, very, very nice. It's got the uh, logo right here. 
Very good. Very nice. Okay. So, if I compared it to my Gator pedal, um, pedal board, I'm sorry, I honestly, as a big guy, I feel more confident to put pressure on my um, Gator pedal board because I feel it's stronger. Like on the sides here, it feels really, really strong and tight right here. Perfect. But on the center, we've got some issues. Like, like I can easily bend it down. It's not bending, it's not bending, but you can tell that it, it'll, it'll move. So I would say if you're like a hard stomper, you know, when you go to the pedal board or you're just like constantly hitting your, the buttons on the pedals, this might not be the thing for you because it is kind of, like I said, it's not cheaply made, man. You can't, like it feels good. But I do feel that the center, at least, is a little weaker than the sides. And I guess that's true for, for all of the pedal boards, but if I, if I am thinking about my Gator pedal board, I mean, it feels pretty sturdy all the way through because it's made of, I guess, aluminum. I don't know, man. It feels like steel. Like it, I mean, it's, you know, you can't really uh, push it down or anything like that. So it's really nice. Nice pedal board. Uh, I started off with this video, guys, because, like I said, I'm going to build my pedal board. I, I can already kind of see where my stuff is going to go, right, where the chain is going to go. But this will technically continue to be reviewed as we go through our giveaway because, um, like I said, I'm going to be adding to it and then things might pop up. Okay. Uh, something I didn't talk about, it's got the holes on the side, I guess, to run your cables. And then it's got a big area down here. And that's, again, that space here is for your power supply. And that way, the power supply cable can come out through there. Overall, man, I'm very happy. I'm very happy with the purchase. Okay, so for the, I, I looked up the prices just to make sure and I gave you the right amount. Uh, for the Donner pedal board that I, I, that I just bought, I paid $69.95. It looks pretty good. It's perfect size for uh, mini pedals. And again, it's got the bottom portion for your power supply, unless you're like me and you like to put the power supply on top to add that extra light. And it also has that, uh, the um, pick holder here it's for three picks. And uh, it's all Velcroed out already. So you're just gonna have to use the uh, stickier part of the Velcro or the prickly part um, to add it on there. In my opinion, it's great. It's a good buy, man. Especially if you're looking for something affordable or if you're looking for a gift for your kid, this is the way to go. I, I mean, there's other pedals, other pedal board companies that are out there, but I discovered Donner and when I went on their website, I saw all kinds of stuff. Um, guitars, ukuleles, uh, pedals, effects, a whole bunch of stuff, which I will be reviewing more in the future. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the video now, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you hit a like, subscribe, and uh, let me know if you want this. Leave a comment. I want this pedal board, and you'll be entered to win this pedal board when we reach 1,000 subscribers, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, look out for the next um, review video, which is coming in a few days. Remember, there's 10 total videos that... Uh, that you should be looking forward to. All right, man. I'll see you later. Bye.